Do you like red vines? <laughs> Do you like red vines? <laughs> They're mine. Merry Vlogmas Day 27, a uh, slight change of plans today. I did not sleep well at all last night and I think I managed to drop off around sort of four or five o'clock this morning. So um, I've been asleep till midday. It's now probably one o'clock. So my house is a mess. There's my clean washing, um, all of my Christmas presents, just stuff everywhere. That's my desk. So I think what I'm going to do is tidy up put everything away, put all my new stuff away, and then I might sit down and have a look at my bullet journal for next year, because I haven't done anything with my bullet journal this month at all. Started really well and just, yeah, just not even thought of, thought of picking it up, and I miss it. So I'm going to have a, maybe have a look at that this afternoon, and obviously I will film anything that I get up to. So yeah, uh, Necessary Clutch Wallet is an NCW, somebody asked. Uh, Karin also answered in the post uh, in the comments so thank you Karin but yes NCW means uh, necessary clutch wallet they are going to start tomorrow I'm going to try and sort out a little bit of my fabric stash because I've got to get some fabrics out that I want to work with in January so yeah it's going to be a kind of organizing tidying up sorting out kind of day and I think that's going to help because I hate living in this kind of mess um so yeah i'm gonna do that <laughs> i have tidied up i have put the clothes away i've swept the floors i've cleaned up all of chiana's artwork uh there were muddy paw prints everywhere i've tidied up my desk so that i can sit and play with my bullet journal which i have done quite a lot in so i'll show you that it's all penciled at the moment i'm trying to decide whether i'm gonna film me actually doing it or if I'm gonna film a flip through of my setup for 2018. I kind of, I'm trying to think about the videos that I like to watch and I do like watching people do them, but I'm so in the mood and I wanna do it now and the lighting's awful, so if I try and filmed it tonight, if I, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Chiana has made herself at home on the bed there. Um, it's still really actually quite cold here. Um, I'm thinking I might, I'm thinking I might try and get under the duvet because it's, yeah, it's chilly even with the heater on. Either that or I'm going to turn the heater up. I think I might do that actually. Uh, but yeah, I, I, it's really nice playing with all my stationery again. I haven't done that for ages. My place is smelling really good as well because I've got some um, potpourri from, that I actually had since last year. Then I finally used that. Um, I found a proper home for my calendar girl. I've reorganised all my pens. I have also lit all of my candles. These Bath and Body Works ones from Karen are amazing. They smell so good. Um, yeah, put away all the clean clothes. This is the fabrics that I want to work with in January. This, uh, yeah, because... As you know, I'm going on holiday in January, so I wanted to have something that would go with the 8577 that I've just sewn. So I've got the crepe, Savannah crepe in there, I've got some silk, some um, knit fabrics that go. Might add a few more bits and pieces. I think I'm going to try and make some more t-shirts as well, because I like t-shirts. And I've only got three, I've told you that. Yeah, I have told you that before. Um, I've left my um, big fluffy 
slipper boot things down in the main house and I'm actually contemplating going and getting them because it's, it's really my feet that are cold. So I might do that. I haven't seen the parentals today either. I might go do that. Yeah. A few of you have been asking about the cardigan that mum's knitting for me and I got, it's an ebook and I got it on Ravelry and it's called Knit Swell and it's by Sandra McIver and mum is making me the winter waves. There's quite a few patterns in there. Where's the start of it? Wait, yeah, it's the winter waves one that mum's making for me. There are quite a few patterns in the book. There's centered ovals, centered circles, off center circles, and off centered ovals. So there's about four of each. So there's, oh, there's more of the centered circles. So yeah, there's lots and lots of patterns in there. I think it was about $26, but it is on Ravelry. So I will, uh, excuse me, <laughs> you were saying? Are they not, have they been ignoring you all day? Oh, you, you're sulking now. Are you? Are you sulking? <laughs> Dinner's ready. <laughs> How are you getting on with my cardigan? Well, it's becoming a blanket. Is it nice? It's very warm. Oh, wow. Gosh. So it's a lot of knitting. How many more of the kind of well, rows have you got to do? Um, I've done... 20 and I've got to do 22 Ooh. before I start on the long sleevey thing yeah it's looking very exciting because it, it's basically just the same thing but in reverse isn't it you do it for so many stitches mm. and then you turn it around it's ordinary garter stitch and then Stocking. you do knit and then purl right okay and I'm gonna thread that um, copper ribbon I got through it yeah. To make it sort of like that Dior cardigan. It's so soft, this stuff. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about this. One of my favourite cardigans ever I stole from you, didn't I? It was a Marks yeah. and Spencer's black one. You guys have seen it loads last year. Um, <laughs> I finally retired it because I, I literally wore it to holes, it didn't really I? It really was a bit it, tatty. Worst the way. And we were desperately looking for another, um, another cardigan pattern on Ravelry that was similar and then this this came up so this this is supposed to have been knitted in a worsted weight isn't it this yes and we this is double knit and we're doing it in double knit so, so we've gone for, lighter yeah we've gone for the larger size the med middle size. the med middle size yeah. because apparently one person can wear all three sizes it will just fit differently so yeah but very excited they were very excited going to be interesting because you add the one sleevey bit on you keep knitting that in just one long row don't you and then it's one seam yes yes i haven't kind of got to that bit yet got that yet i thought well i'll get there <laughs> oh, <laughs> i'll do this bit then i'll get there it's getting quicker every every row you do though because it oh, shrinks yeah. every row you do that oh, first one how many stitches 570 yeah. something 70 something yes yeah yeah. Oh, that's good, exciting. I, I wanted to say as well, with the NCW, I'm starting that tomorrow. I am starting that tomorrow, regardless of how little sleep I get tonight. Uh, for those of you who've already cut out, it's fine. Don't worry, we can, there's, there's, because I've made quite a few changes to the cutting guide, but uh, for the, as I say, for those of you who've already cut out, it's fine, because you'll be able to tweak what you've already done. You may need to recut maybe one or two pieces. Uh, but for everybody else who've got the pattern already, don't cut anything out yet because, um, as I say, I've made a, made a few tweaks to it. So yes, but I am starting that tomorrow, so it will it will be up and um, up and edited ASAP. I promise. I've been playing with my bullet journal all afternoon, so I thought I'd show you a really quick sort of have a look at what I've gotten up to so far. So that's the year at a glance. Um, this is the index. I've just, I don't like the um, writing, so I've just covered it up with washi tape. Uh, year at a glance, still needs its title. This is my future log. I used a pen that bled through to the other side, so I've stopped using that one. Uh, future log. Uh, this is, I am paying off my laptop, so this is gonna keep track of that. 
Um, I've then got some like outlines here that I think I'm going to set myself a budget for fabric and patterns for the year and then I'm going to try and save some money this year as well. These, this is going to be a milestone tracker. This is going to be the sewing challenges that come up over the year, what they are, when they're due and if I completed them or not. Uh, this is my sewing goals for 2018. Uh, this is going to be the Sew My Style Challenge because I'm going to take part in that, I believe. I've signed up for it and I've bought the first pattern, so yes, I'm going to do that. Then my 2018 Make 9. This is my Selfish Sewing Tracker because I did this last year and I loved keeping like a written note of everything that I've made. I'm going to probably add in a little bit more detail this time, but... Uh, yep, yeah, that it was the the number, the type of thing it was, and the pattern that I used. Um, I am going to do my life in pixels or my year in pixels because I like the way that that looks. Um, and then I've got a page set aside here for my 2018 resolutions. I have. Um, one of my resolutions is to start exercising again and to lose weight. So I have done the uh, the weight tracker. And um, one of the things I'm going to buy myself this year is a set of scales so that I don't have to keep going down to the parentals to do to weigh myself every morning because then I don't do it. And yeah, and then I'm going to do the same thing that I did last year. I'm going to draw out a figure here and do the body measurements. This page I have set aside to do some doodling for a January title page. Although I'm just playing around with making myself some large stickers now. So I might put one of those there instead. And then this is my January at a glance. I used this all of last year for all of my months and I absolutely love it. The only thing I'm changing up a little bit is the lettering at the top i'm going to try and get a little bit more fancy and try some calligraphy and stuff uh, this is my habit and mood tracker january sewing plans and then this is into the first weekly for january um which again the same sort of thing weekly goals what i wore things to put in for next week down the bottom here and then this will be my dailies here, which is generally where I write my to-do lists and any journaling that I want to do, anything exciting that happened. Uh, this year I really want to, I'm saving up for an HP sprocket because I love the idea of including some photographs in this. And um, yeah, I, I my, my current printer is not working very well and I don't want to have to print them all out in my mum and dad's. So I'm saving up for a sprocket because I think that would be really cool. So I'm really excited about this one. I got the Leuchtturm again, but I got the copper one because the last Leuchtturm I bought, I bought the cheapest colour that they had available, which was the hot pink, which is not really me, or the raspberry. So this is much more me. This or the turquoise, but yeah, I sucker for shiny things. You know, I'm a magpie. So I got this one. Oh, and I also painted my nails with some of my... Um, nail polish from Santa last night because I'd peeled off my uh, pointer finger now which was during making Christmas dinner which is a bit annoying because I'd only done those the night before but yes I really like this colour so that's what I've been up to today as you can see I'm under the duvet because it's freezing up here yeah it's it's really cold up here um, even with like the heater on a higher temperature and the windows closed so I've got the electric blanket on and I'm just sitting on that but it's only on level one so that's okay. I've had a really nice chilled day. I think I needed it. I don't know why I couldn't get to sleep last night but never mind. Never mind. I am feeling tired now so fingers crossed I'll be able to drop off at a decent hour and then get up and get on with my day tomorrow. My house is so much tidier which I think is going to help as well because you know there's nothing worse than when there's just stuff everywhere and you're like oh I don't like it so yeah very pleased with that that's it for today really so I hope you have enjoyed what I have been up to and I will see you all tomorrow bye